Welcome back to the LAC3 video training series. This video will explore the distributed subwoofer mode for designing ground deployed arrays of subwoofers. As with other modes in LAC, the new project will open with the venue mode active. The primary objective of distributed subwoofer array mode is to predict and optimize the acoustic coverage of a subwoofer array on the horizontal listening plane. As such, the venue tab in this mode is oriented as a top down view of the venue rather than the horizontal slice used in other modes. The pre-drawn square is meant to represent the top of a stage looking down. This convenient reminder is drawn out of virtual listening planes and as a result is acoustically transparent. The stage can be modified or deleted entirely if desired using the plane controls on the left. Unlike the other virtual design modes, there is no need to draw listening planes in the venue workspace. However, Virtual and architectural planes can be used to create visual references such as the walls of a venue. Once the space is defined, click into the mapping tab. Under array parameters, select the appropriate product type. By default, a new distributed subwoofer design will begin with a single container of three subwoofers. The number of containers, quantity of speaker in each container, and the orientation of the subwoofers inside the container can be controlled from the array options below. As the array options are modified, the venue workspace above will change to reflect the system design. On the left side of the screen, under the cabinets dropdown, each subwoofer in the design is listed. Subwoofer containers are identified by color bars on the left, and each subwoofer inside a container will display a number indicating its position within that container. Using the drop down arrows next to each subwoofer, the model and direction of the speaker can be changed as required. For arrays that are made up of identical containers of subwoofers, clicking the Make All the Same button will copy the speaker's model and direction choices from the top container to the rest of the containers below it. Once the containers are correctly populated, spacing can be adjusted in the Array Options section. Using the Spacing Method drop down, Spacing can be set and displayed from the center of each container or from the edge of the speakers in the container. Then, spacing can be defined by total subwoofer array length or by the spacing between each container using the two dynamic dimension boxes. Under mapping, select a single frequency or frequency average under the calculation method and hit calculate to generate an SPL plot of the output of the subwoofer array as designed. If needed, the subwoofer spacing dimensions can be refined, and then a new output can be generated. The acoustical cancellation effects of cardioid subwoofer arrays can also be modeled. Use the drop downs under the cabinets list to change the required subwoofers to rear facing. Click Make All Containers the Same, then calculate the new results. The cancellation effect of the cardioid subwoofer array can be visualized behind the array. More information on the proper deployment of a cardioid subwoofer array can be found in each respective product's user manual. Electronically steered subwoofer arrays can be an effective tool for decreasing the power alley effect and widening the horizontal coverage of a distributed subwoofer array. Distributed subwoofer mode can be used to calculate the delay values for electronically steered subwoofer arrays. Begin by setting a coverage angle under the array options. The coverage angle defines how wide the virtual subwoofer arc should be. Next, click the Calculate Delays button. LAC will assign delays to the subwoofer's containers, working from the inside of the array outwards, symmetrically. Click Calculate to visualize the effect of the new coverage angle and refine the angle if necessary. Subwoofer delay times can be zeroed out to remove EDS using the Reset Delays icon here. Thank you for watching.